Hey guys, Ace Five Master here. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to calculate your U value of any given wall. The first step to calculate, to find out your U value, is to figure out what is in your wall. Okay, and in this given example, uh, we got we are given eight inches of base brick, four inches of polystyrene board, and uh, gypsum board. Five over eight inches of gypsum board. Okay, and so I wrote down uh, the three component here. And you see that there is also an inside film and outside film. And if you don't know what that is, now this is uh, another wall, but with different material. But what we want to look at is that there is um, also the same thing outside air film and inside air film. Okay. Um, in any given wall, there's always going to be some kind of air formation against the wall, outside, inside. Okay, so that's what that is. And why do we need to um, uh, uh, have this into our calculation is because they are they're also going to contribute to your thermal resistance when, when, when you build a house, when you put up a wall. Okay, so that's why um, we're going to integrate them into our calculation. So once we have all the, all the components written down like this, now we can find out we can um, uh, we're going to write down each R value. Okay, and I brought this um, R value, and this is just an example. And R value, I think, depending on uh, depending on different types of material, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna vary. But in this, it's an example. Okay, it's an example. So let's see what uh, the the R value for inside film is going to be 0.68. Okay, and 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 notice that the different uh, inside air film types okay but we're going to be using vertical because the bottom the the the, the two here below are uh, when you're given a ceiling in a, in a different scenario okay so let's say you 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 have all of this and you also have to calculate the ceiling uh, the u for ceiling okay then I guess you'll be using that but in this example it's just a wall um, standing vertically so we're gonna go with this, 6 point, 0 0.68, okay? So it's gonna be 0, okay, I'm gonna write here, 0 0.68, okay? And there's only one layer, okay? For inside, outside air films, it's always gonna be time by one. Now, phase break. Phase break is 0 0.2 per inch thickness, okay? So 0 0.2, and how many inches of base break are we are we given? It's eight inches, right? So we're gonna time that by eight. So that's that's it. Okay. okay let me write it again. Inches. Okay, it looks the same. There you go. Now polystyrene. Polystyrene we're five. Okay, five times uh polystyrene board we're given four inches. And you see, just to verify, it's per inch thickness, right? So it's uh, five times four. Now gypsum bore is, and for gypsum bore, don't be mistaken. This five over eight inches, uh, this is type of, this is type of gypsum bore. See, there are three different types. Okay, it doesn't say per inch thickness. It's just, um, it's referring to. Uh, whether it's uh, which which type of gypsum board basically, so it's gonna be just one. This and gypsum board is for that 0 0.56, 0 0.56, and it's gonna be one. Now, outside air film, outside air film, depending on the wind for outside air film, because outside is gonna be there's gonna be wind, right? And um, let's go with the first one, it doesn't matter, so it's an example 0 0.17. Okay, 0.17, and so yeah, and that's it. Now once we have all the values written down, we're gonna add them all up. Okay, and to do that, let's see, 0 0.68, right, plus 0 0.2 times 8. Okay, that's gonna give us 7.04, and then plus 20 because the next one is 5 times 4, so 20. Okay, and then 0 0.56 plus, and then 
what's next? 0 0.17 is going to be 27.77. Okay, 27.7 is our R value. Okay, now for your R value, there's always, um, there's in, in any calculation for uh, in physics or anything related to physics, there's there's always um, um, uh, units, right? And for and the units for R is going to be R times fifth squared times Fahrenheit, okay, over BTU, okay. And now what the what the the last step is very simple. Inverse R value basically. Uh, this value inverse it to get the u value. Okay, so to inverse what we do is just that. Okay, and that is going to give us um, 1 over 27.77. 0 0.036. Okay, so that's going to be 0.036, right? And now the unit BTU over HR times V squared times Fahrenheit. See that? So that is a U value for that wall. I, p I hope you um, got the lesson. Thank you for watching.